Art is too important not to share. Welcome to the Allie and Callie Artcast. Hi, I'm Allie. And I'm Callie. Welcome to Welcome. the Allie and Callie Artcast. Callie, how are you? I'm, I'm okay. Uh, yeah? I'm a, I'm a little rough. I had a rough night. Yeah. I'm having some issues with my gallbladder, I believe, but I think I'm going to live. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, otherwise, I'm good. I mean, I had a nice break and lots of family time, lots of time with my little granddaughter, Sayla, yeah. and my kids and my husband. A little too much time with my husband. I mean, yeah. I don't mean to pick on him but I know but it, we can't I wish he had ourselves. his own office <laughs> somewhere else because yeah, right. I'm like why are you here why are you here and he likes to talk on the speakerphone and oh. then he paces and uh-huh. I said can you go somewhere else right well I'm having a meeting I'm like we'll have your meeting somewhere else right <laughs> I mean, this is my house. Well, I live I'm here. A meeting. Yeah, I yeah. know. I know. Anyway, so that's our constant battle. Right. We're the Bickersons. That's what I'm calling us. <laughs> the constant Bickersons now. But oh, we're all good. I mean, I can't complain. We're uh, Stu's working on a new project with his business, nice. and that's uh, his focus right now. And I still don't have my countertops, but my car's in the garage, so we have progress. Okay, well, that's important. My car is not in the garage, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't expect it in there anymore. I know. So maybe by next winter. And what what what's new with you? How's that grandbaby? Oh my God, they're both adorable. Mm-hmm. Charlotte is um, growing mm-hmm. and getting to be less blobby. And yeah, more she's interesting. How, how many months is she now? So she's almost two months. Oh God! Yeah, yeah. Less she's blobby. Yeah. Less we blobby. mean that in the most loving way. Loving way. way. <laughs> yes. But we know, you know, when yeah. they're little babies, they're just like poop, eat, right. sleep, poop, eat, sleep. Yeah. And Hendrix is is um, definitely uh, challenging the <laughs> the big brother. terrible twos. Uh huh. Um, length of time because I think he's going to be into the threes I think he's going to be terrible too because it lasts for two years yeah (laughs) but he is really cute at it yeah and he's he's a he does it very well yeah he's so busy yeah I know yeah that's my granddaughters it's like we've we've learned how to open things so we open every cabinet and we bring little uh, let's just call them tchotchkes. Uh-huh. You know, little things from one place to the next place. Right. Shut the door, open the door. Shut yep. the door, open the door. Oh, yeah, we went through Pick that. me up. Pick yep. me down. Put me down. Pick me up. Pick and she me. likes it when you vacuum with her, right? Yeah, it's all about vacuums. Oh For her God. one-year birthday, she got three different vacuums. That's hilarious. Yeah. So That's really cute. She's adorable, though. She's, oh, good. She's super fun. And, uh, yeah. So well, one exciting news yes? that you... I'm going to share for you is oh. that you got the lead in Gypsy I the upcoming did. show with Aspire. I did. It opens in on April 26th, I believe, through May 4th. So get your tickets. Yeah. It's going to be a biggie. I'm pretty it, sure that there'll be a code that if you enter Cali, yeah, you'll, you'll get, get a, a discount. discount. So if you listen, <laughs> I save you money That's right there. Right. There you um, go. It's a it's a big role and it'll be really fun and really hard and really scary. But it's yep. going to be really good. I told her that I would help her. Yeah. I got a lot I'll of lines. Help her with her lines. Yeah. Yeah. My old brain is going, <laughs> holy moly. That's a lot. Oh, but it'll be great. It'll be swell. It will. It will I got be the swell. whole world on a plate. Woo-hoo. It's part of the song. Yeah. I anyway. Know. <laughs> I knew that. Anyway, you probably anyway. did. Anyway, well, I'm pretty excited that we have Cindy Hammond here as our guest yes. today. Welcome, Cindy. Thank you. Yes, Cindy I've, Hammond. I have a question. Can I come to a dress rehearsal because I won't be in town during the I will. Show. I will ask, and I bet I can get it. Ooh, I'll go with you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Oh, that sounds great. I'll Thank ask. You. Yeah. You're going right. to be, where are you going to be? Africa. Oh, mm. I leave April 16th, so oh. if you can get in between. Earlier, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll get you in. Perfect. Perfect. I'll, Thank you. Yeah. Oh, fun. Yeah. What are you going to do in Africa? Safari? Get lions? I, I, yes, uh, on a tour with my sister. Oh, oh, fun. Nice. She wanted to go, so I said, fine, and we found a tour, and it'll be lovely. Oh, that sounds great. Where are all you going? 
we fly into Cape Town, mm -hmm. and we're there a couple of days before the tour, and then we fly to Johannesburg, and then up to Kruger National Park. Mm -hmm. Oh, fun. Wow. Wow. That's My sister so was in... Um, mostly South Africa, in yeah. that South Africa area for um, almost a month, and she loved it. They were all over the place. That's what I've heard from everyone, yeah. that they just mm -hmm. adored. Her husband and and their kids climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't really? do that either. She no. flew there I, and met I them wouldn't either. No, we're walking on flat land. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would. I that wouldn't. sounds like my she kind the of person, tour. Yep, yeah. Who broke both ankles and a wrist. Yeah, no, right. No, <laughs> you don't need to do that. There's no, no, no. Well, that's exciting. Oh. So well, tell us a little bit about your background. I was in education forever, mm -hmm. my entire career, and spent my time coveting all of the school supplies in the in the supply room, or walking down aisles and looking at school supplies. Actually, one Christmas, Jim gave me a box of school supplies. No, oh. I was in seventh heaven. <laughs> <laughs> well, I loved it. I bet. I so, met you when you were the executive director of. Lewis Clark. Lewis Clark, yeah. In Coeur d'Alene, yeah. yeah. And before that, in elementary schools. Mm hmm. Um, wow. Yeah. yeah. Mostly education. Mm hmm. And then along came art. And mm -hmm. along came art. So, what made you start doing art? Well, I'll tell you, Jim was in politics for so long, all of our 40 years together, and he was in the Senate for six years, and he spent most of his time. In the spring in Boise, so I spent a lot of time alone. Mm -hmm. And there's only so many times you can paint every room in the house. <laughs> Boy, is that true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, he then got busy with the city of Coeur d'Alene, and the notice came out on Facebook to enter the Art on the Green poster contest. I had a drawer full of those school supplies I alluded to earlier, mm -hmm. particularly colored pencils, mm -hmm. and said, you know what? I'm going to enter and I'm going to win. And you did. And did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I, st I tried that vision and it Stuff worked and mm -hmm. positive thought. It I passed out your piece. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> and and I did. And so then I just kept on playing with the art and talked to a lot of people in town and said, should I continue this? Uh, respected artists, artists I respected, mm -hmm. and uh, marketing people. And um, Beth Rich happened to be one of them. And she said, yes, I think you should continue and we'll have your first show. So it was a year ago at mix it up that's yeah. right mm -hmm. wow so i so, appreciate the support from beth and Teresa mm -hmm. and the gang the, down there the technique is do you use water with the colored pencil no it's, so just, it's all just colored pencil all colored wow all colored pencil it's a really unique style that you've developed it's, it's not anything else i've seen and it just morphs as I do it more and more. Mm -hmm. So it's a reverse transfer process. When I find something that I like, I make a copy on my iPad and print it and then adapt it and modify it and bought some reverse transfer paper, which is much like mimeograph paper that yeah. we used to use yeah. and put it on a heavy duty watercolor paper that has what they call a tooth. Mm -hmm. I had to learn all of this. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and then just layer it and layer it layer it and blend it with a colorless pencil. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes go around it with a micron ink. Wow. So that's how you blend it. I was wondering how you blend it because I've had colored pl pencils that are, I think they're called watercolor pencils. And where they, you can, they look like colored pencils. They do. And then you just add a little water and then it blends like you're painting watercolor. So that's what I'm, I didn't know. I and was, I have those. I was given those watercolor pencils for Christmas by my daughter-in-law and water pens. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah. I've seen those too. Where the, the tube is actually filled with water. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yes. Yeah. If we were visual, I would go get them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it looks like the old cartridge pens. Mm -hmm. Instead of ink, it's water. 
Cool. And the water just flows out through the brushes. Oh, yeah. wow. So I'm experimenting with that. It's much more difficult. It is. That's what you did than it is. just using the pencils. It, it, I, yeah, I found watercolor. It, anyone who does that, I, I give them oh my gosh, yes. huge applause. <laughs> right. Huge. And I, respect. It is very, very difficult. And uh, mm. it's... You know, I, I don't want to say you have to be precise, but it's it's very hard to be free and not overuse the water and not, oh, it's just it's difficult. It's not water easy. Watercolor is probably, I think, the toughest medium. I, th- I think so too. It's, it's unforgiving. Just, it's that's a great but word. I think the professionals know how exactly. to lift the color, remove it, change things. Yep. And I feel like I'm in more control with the pencils. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I used to when I first started mark every single space and record the colors I used until now the color choice becomes intuitive and you You've just grab it. what you think is right. right. Oh, good. that's cool. So you're training your brain. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very good for my brain and still use YouTube and, and pick up a few techniques here and there from, right. from people, but it's inventing your own. I think mm-hmm. it's just mm-hmm. a process. And I've seen, like, at the last art walk at Mix It Up, you had a lot of, you had a tree series, a horse Horse. series. Mm -hmm. They're both beautiful. Thank you very much. Love them. Evolutionary as I move from buildings and find my niche. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I love doing the trees. Yeah, the trees are nice. The trees are gorgeous. Um, The ones you, the first ones that I saw of yours, other than the poster, um, were the Houses. You did yeah. a lot of houses. You did a lot of little scenes from Coeur d'Alene, which were cool. And I love the way how you cast like light through the drawings. I guess that would be a signature, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. 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 That, I think that's what kind of makes it unusual. really unique. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hope so. And I've ex- been experimenting with backgrounds now too, but I love the use of the, the light in there. Actually, it was coming off COVID. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the world was gray and it was winter and in, we're again living in monochromatic world right now. Mm-hmm. Right. And I just needed the color. The yeah. color mm-hmm. brought joy and that was my escape. It's very right. true. As we each find our ways to block out the rest of the world. Mm-hmm. There's enough darkness and I decided, yes, got to do we something. need happy. Yeah. That's a fact. More art, <laughs> more light. Yeah. 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 So what inspires you? What inspires me at the time, it was just old houses and some of the memories I had in growing up in Wisconsin. And my granddad had a ranch around Lake Ponderé, and we spent time there also. And he had some dilapidated old barns. Mm-hmm. That's what I loved. I had pictures of mom who rode her horse to school. Oh, wow. And so old sheds. She grew up in Burke, dad in Green Bay, and it was just a time where he lived, uh, he and his family lived in what they call the suction house for railroad employees mm-hmm. and then built old homes. And it was a farming life. Not that I farmed, but old buildings mm-hmm. inspired right. me and the memories that they would evoke. And then I just moved into scenery. Mm-hmm. And hills in the area. I did a couple of downtown Coeur d'Alene, which reminds me that maybe I should look at that again. And then I got into horses because, as I said, mom rode her horse to school. I have a couple of kids in my life. My son and daughter-in-law are equine veterinarians, and they approve the eyes. Good. The eyes are are (laughs) difficult. And again, it's the eyes that are the spirit Mm -hmm. of the the picture and the trees there was just something about the giving tree do you remember that book absolutely yeah and yeah, the peace mm-hmm. that would ev- it would evoke and then uh yes i should refer back to the book the boy the mole the horse the fox i love mm-hmm. that book I love that book yes and mm-hmm. so all uh, the quotes in then that book mm-hmm Help so me with the horses, right? You you have started doing those quotes with your um, the cards. with your drawings for your cards, mm-hmm. the note cards, and they're so cool because all the quotes are different, and they're all from that book, and they're all I love that the horse is is he's the w- wise one, and he's yes. talking to the boy. Yeah, mm-hmm. every quote on the back of each card is a quote from the horse. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's really cool. I like that. Yeah, I discovered that. 
I can't think of his name, that author. Charles uh, Maxey? Maxey, yeah. yeah. I think I saw him on Sunday morning. Really? He was. Yeah. And that's where I was like, and then I had seen some of his artwork on, I believe it was Instagram, and went, oh, that was a sweet little blurb. I mean, because I think they're only like eight seconds long. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I thought, oh, these are like, kind of remind me of Winnie Pooh and kind mm-hmm. of the Tao of Pooh and just kind of how, you know, there was so much more to Winnie Pooh than... You know, yeah. you realize it's very right. sweet. But anyway, great. I'm glad and that he has you a video. S- like yeah. Oh, yeah. I have not seen that. It's a have short. I, I have not seen it, but I think it won an uh, Academy Award. Yeah. So for a short. So check it out. Add a little flair to your special events with Scraps Barbecue, a great catering choice for your next gathering. Specializing in golf tournaments, sporting events, weddings, and other family friend gatherings, their commercial kitchen can be on site, or you can choose to have a fully catered meal delivered right to you. Known for their authentic Santa Maria style tri tip and tequila lime fish tacos, they can customize the menu to meet your needs for groups of 20 to 2,500. Contact Kevin at Kevin at scrapsbarbecue.com or check them out on Facebook. So here's one of the quotes from Charles Maxey. Is that how you say his name? Maxey. M-A-K-E-S-Y. Looks like. I love this. We have such a long way to go, sighed the boy. Yes, but look how far we've come, said the horse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so sweet. It's all it is. It's beautiful all, little quotes. Yep. Yeah. I wonder what the song is in the back. I don't know, one of my favorites in there, and I'm going to misquote it, said, you know, what's the bravest thing you've ever said? Help. Help. Uh, I like that one, too. It's so good. <laughs> yep. So good. It's yeah. Very, very deep. It's good. So where do you think your art's going to take you now? It's all a ride, an adventure. Mm-hmm. Well, I know Just you're adventuring the journey. with yeah. your website. What's your website? C.J. Hammond Art. Dot com. And in process. It is an in progress website, but it's exciting to get that going. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you have an Instagram. I do. Again, CJ Hammond Art, and mm-hmm. people have been finding me. In mm-hmm. fact, I just finished a commission yesterday. Nice. Through Instagram. It should be easier once the website is up and people can communicate. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And the email is cjhammondart at gmail.com. Dot com. Perfect. Easy. Got yeah. it. Because mm-hmm. I think I remember you had some little bears that little animals that's right oh again you're crocheting Get busy with your hand yes i know Bear that's, Bunny Hill. yes yeah. very sweet i think my granddaughter has one my grandson has one <laughs> yeah. might have to get another one but no. i don't know where they are anymore are you making them anymore i am it's at night when i'm sitting and my hands do something and it's not mm-hmm. with colored pencil yeah right yeah my grandmother used to crochet lace Oh, yeah. Oh, so did mine. I actually With have a piece of hers. Those tiny, tiny needles. The little tiny, and yeah. I watched her as she crocheted with the thread. Mm. And she watched television, and I don't believe that she ever looked down. Yeah. Just no. Wow. It's just a memory. Yeah. Muscle That's memory. so crazy. Because so lace is so complicated. Fine. And I have her yeah. pillowcases yet from the lace. Wow. And I probably asked her if she would help me, and at that time I didn't have the patience when mm-hmm. I was young to crochet particularly with thread Mm-mm. So yeah wow now mm. I do just to keep busy yeah and I like knitting and animals. I can knit without looking but that was too not slow. if it's a really complicated pattern yeah yeah much too slow for me I have the attention span of a gnat <laughs> <laughs> I figure it, it's a good thing to do with my hands when I'm watching tv that's, that's when I crochet yep. yeah Yep, mm-hmm. I started a project last night, as a matter of fact. Mm, very yeah. good. I love fiber art. Yeah. I need to get back into my weaving, too. Do you have a loom? I do. I have a, Actually, I have several looms, but one of them is a floor loom that actually you use the little um, boat thing that goes back yeah. and forth. and Big. I love weaving. A couple of years ago, I had the opportunity to go to Turkey. And you've seen those beautiful rugs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
and we sat down with the women. This this particular business contracts with local women, and they make the rugs at home, and the business then sells them, and the country pays for shipping if you buy one. But she showed us how to do the knots, this lady. Mm -hmm. They all came into the business for our, our particular tour, and the patterns that you see are all in their heads. Oh, that's crazy. That's they incredible. Oh, it was just well, that's like your mother doing the crocheting yeah. without looking. Yeah. Wow. I mean, they're so intricate. And how do they know where, you know, all the pattern, it, it all comes together. And It was amazing. And everything was natural. Wow. All the dyes, the yarns. Hmm. Right. Well, speaking of Turkey, you've been a lot of places, a lot of interesting places. Where else have you been? And what's your favorite? Oh, uh, maybe you haven't been there yet. Yeah, <laughs> every single just, just traveling uh, in general. Yes, isn't it? Yeah, uh -huh. my mm -hmm. favorite place is at an airport getting on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great Her way to put it. Yep. <laughs> yep, I can relate to that. Yeah, that's what I anticipated I'd be doing at this stage of life. But I have a man dedicated to public service. So, yeah. So, um, fortunately, I travel with my sister. Right. That's good. Then we'll go places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You mentioned that you, you were in Croatia last year, right? I wasn't or, in Croatia. No, that's on my bucket list. That's on your oh. bucket list. Where Turkey. were you then? It was must have been Turkey. Turkey, Turkey. Okay. last year. We took a little barge ride down the Seine in France. I loved. Oh, man, how fun. So peaceful, yeah. We've yeah. mm -hmm. been doing that since college, though, whenever I had an opportunity to go someplace like mm -hmm. that. Right, so Africa is next. That's going to be an adventure. Next, yes, but they say you should never finish one trip without planning the next. Right, mm. I know. I'm planning our next one. Which is to where? Well, I've got a couple of options. We were talking about going to Bali, but I heard that Bali or the whole Southeast Asia weather patterns are going to be really crazy this year. Mm. And there's they're expecting some real tumultuous hurricanes and stuff. So I thought, well, maybe we'll wait till next year for Bali and go. We flew through Amsterdam to get to Portugal and Amsterdam looks fascinating. So Amsterdam is on my bucket list now. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to spend a week there and yeah. a week in Barcelona. Yeah, I love Spain. Yeah, yeah, that that's another one that's on the bucket list. Mm -hmm. You know what I thought was really interesting is that Portugal... Everywhere is tile, but the tile is all in blue and white or blue, white, and yellow. But you go across the border to Spain and they have tile everywhere too, but it's, it is it is colorful. It's mm -hmm. got all colors in it. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was really interesting, the difference yeah. between two cultures that are so close to each other and yet so, so different. Different. Mm -hmm. yeah. different language, the whole shebang, yeah, yeah. different food. They didn't sound alike to me. Yeah, Portuguese no. Portuguese is much more guttural. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Like the Germanic language. I call Portuguese a, a mixture of Spanish, Dutch, and French. Could be. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's kind of a, an amalgamation of yeah. languages. <laughs> so we're traveling and you're memorizing lines. Yes, yes. I I did get to go to Italy last year. Yes. So, and that was the that. best trip. We'd all like mm -hmm. your itinerary. I know. It was awesome. I would do it again in a heartbeat. And uh, I think you won't have as much trouble getting Stu to go somewhere. No, I know. Because he's, you know, he travels for work. So he's... It's like pulling teeth to go, well, I really, I mean, I wanted to go when I turned 50, but I had to wait till I turned 60 <laughs> to go. I was like, okay. But I did go with my dad. I went to Paris and Germany when I was 50, which was still a great trip, just mm -hmm. a different trip. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, now I think it, it will definitely be easier to get Stu to go with me anywhere, mm -hmm. I say. So I just have to plan it. I I still would like to go to Greece. Yes. You know, I, I, oh, would, I like, would love to go I to Greece. Greece. Yes. Greece would be nice. Yeah. And I, I still would like to, I'd like to see more of France. I really didn't, I spent a week in Paris and that wasn't enough, you know, and I didn't really get to see most of Paris or France. I saw a lot of Germany, a little, you know, where my family, my distant relatives live in a very small town. And so didn't get to see enough 
of everything. I would have liked to, you know, all of Western There's Europe. There's never enough time. I know. Don't. Western Europe and I, Ireland and Scotland, I definitely want to go Ireland to. Ireland is amazing. Oh, yeah. Yes. Amazing. I've been there five times. Yeah. I love it. I mean, that. I mean, I just need to get a job, I think, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to afford all this. I know. Now that I'm retired, I, I, I think it's really funny that people say you're on a fixed income when you're retired, because I was on a fixed income before. I know. It was a bigger fixed income. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just had a teeny bit more. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Right now, I'm like, ooh, yeah, we're going to have to. I'm like, what can we sell? I mean, what, yeah, plan that next trip, you know. Life yeah. comes with priorities now. I know. And, and as we cross into those 50s and 60s and yeah. 70s, you think, I have a limited amount of time exactly. left. And what do mm-hmm. I want to do with it? Well, mm-hmm. I know. And what I realize, you know, I, we both have, my my mom passed away at 77. My dad's 90. He'll be 91. Uh, he's doing great. And Stu's parents, his mom's fine. And his dad passed away at 66. Mm-hmm. And so you don't, you know, you don't know how long you have. Right. So... I told Stu, I said, well, I don't want to be in a walker or a wheelchair trying to go see these places because you walk a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you walk up steep streets and cobblestones. And I said, I want to really be able to enjoy all these places. Not that you can't enjoy them in a wheelchair or in a walker, but I want to be a little more mobile Mobile. while I can. That would be the nice thing about Amsterdam. It's very flat. Very. Oh, yeah. (laughs) See? Let me tell you a story of one of the trips that Kay and I took Mm -hmm. in it was the little barge ride in France, and there was a lady there who was, at the time, I think, 87, and she planned this trip by herself mm. and came with her wheelchair and her walker and her cane. Yeah. And she just went everywhere she that just did she it. could. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. And part of the trip, I think, at that age, was to see what you can see, but make those connections. So we still communicate with her. Yeah. Mm. It's so great. She's in Australia. Yeah. Oh, that's a, uh, that's another place. Yeah. Oh, I've awesome. been to Australia. It's yeah. awesome. It's See? very expensive, but yeah. it's awesome. So many great places. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Travel. 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 The art. people. Yep. It's so fun. Yep. Mm-hmm. And so, the people. The people. Yep. I need to sell more art. You need to yeah. do something. Yeah, I know. We all need <laughs> for all of these I know. wonderful acting <laughs> yeah. positions. Yeah. <laughs> sell some art. Yeah. We all need to do some... A little bit more of that, but yep. it's still but, great. Oh, well, here we are doing podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. For though. free. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still great. But and it's, it's great. The people. And it's, it's the, the people, people we meet and talk to That's and right. get to know better. Hey, y'all. It's Jason from Tubbs Coffee Roasters. We are North Idaho's specialty coffee roaster. We are homegrown and we are local. We love coffee and we love our community, especially Allie and Callie in ArtCast. We have a retail space in our roastery in Hayden, and we can also be found on the shelves at Super One and Yolks. And if you like to buy coffee online, we do offer subscriptions. You can find us at TubbsCoffeeRoasters.com. Support arts and culture and your local roaster. That's all. Well, thank you, Cindy, for agreeing yeah. to meet with us and My talk pleasure. to us about your art. And make sure you check out our website and all the all the socials. That's right, cjhammondart.com. Mm-hmm. And you can pretty much find her on all the socials. And you're media still at Mix It Up, CJ. correct? Yes. Yes. Through the first part of March. Mix It Up poem mm-hmm. or Mix It Up the other one. Gift. 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 I can't remember what the it was original. called. The, the original. The original. Yeah, the OG. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, original gift is what I call oh, it. Oh, the OG. I, she doesn't know it, but that's what I'm calling it, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. I'm your new marketing. <laughs> There's my job. I've just created it. Oh, anyway. Perfect. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks right. again. Thanks You're welcome. Again. Have Thank fun you. in Africa, but I'll see you at right. rehearsal. Yes, you right. will. Okay. Yep. And I'm Allie. And I'm Callie. And whatever you do today, make sure it's creative. The Allie and Callie Artcast is sponsored in part by Tubbs Coffee Roasters. Globally sourced locally roasted coffee and scraps barbecue your locally owned catering company